In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Bilbo Baggins was a respected hobbit. He lived a comfortable life and never had any adventures. So Bilbo was rather surprised when Gandalf the wizard invited him on a great adventure. He politely declined. But not before accidentally inviting Gandalf to tea. The next day, Gandalf arrived with 13 hungry dwarves. They ate everything Bilbo had to offer, then sang sad songs and listened to their king, Thorin Oakenshield. At dawn, we begin the quest of Lonely Mountain. We will win back our ancient kingdom under the mountain, reclaim our treasure, and have revenge. On the cursed dragon smile. King Thorin, you need a burglar to steal into Lonely Mountain. Here he is, Bilbo Baggins. Huh? Oh. Excitable little fellow, but fierce as a dragon in a pinch. Dream your way out!
me, ratbags! Tear them apart! It was just a dream. Just a dream. But what an adventure! Despite his fear, something awoke within Bilbo. He wanted to visit distant lands, explore caves, and carry a sword instead of a walking stick. To his own astonishment, Bilbo agreed to go. You've slept half the morning, Mr. Baggins. That won't convince Thorin that you're a fierce burglar. Hmm. I'll show him if I have to walk to the east of east and fight the wild wereworms in the last desert. For now, you'll just have to walk to the Green Dragon Inn. The dwarves are waiting. But get No time for it, and no time to pack. Just fetch your walking stick. Who knows where you will end up today? <laughs> Bungo and Belladonna Baggins. A hobbit couldn't ask for finer parents. Meet the dwarves at the Green Dragon Inn. Off you go, Mr. Baggins. Hmm, what's this? My pocket has sprouted a hole. Oh, my silver pennies must be scattered all over Hobbiton. Day, Gamma. I seem to have lost my quilting needle somewhere in town. If you find it, could you please bring it to me? Certainly, Gamma. Oh, I'm hungry. It's almost noon and I've only had two breakfasts. There's a lovely seed cake cooling on my windowsill. I think I'll head home for a morsel before lunch. Oh, Baggins, I saw your visitor. Are you meddling with wizards? Wizards are meddling with me. Another lad going off into the blue for mad adventures. You might as well be some use before you go. Fetch my butter churn, please. Where is it? It's in the shed round the corner. Just place the butter churn on the porch when you find it. Have some berry crumble tea cakes. I made them fresh this morning. Oh, and Bilbo, watch out for that wizard. We we'll need a lot of food on our journey.
I saw a dwarf wandering around town. Did you see him? The beard so long he tucked it into his belt. He was dressed so outlandishly. He must have gotten lost on his way to breathe. The best apples in all Hobbiton are in that apple orchard. I'd get some if I could climb those cliffs. Wanna play some hide and seek? I'm afraid I'm in a bit of a hurry. We'll go hide. You seek. Ready? Go! Children. The bridge is out. But I need to get to the other side. I could fix it, but I'll need my hammer and nails. Fetch me hammer. 
I saw Carl playing with it up by the waterfall. There are some jars in the mill. You'll have to break them open to get the nails. Bring back me hammer and nails and I'll fix the bridge. Pardon me, Carl. Do you have your father's hammer? He needs it to fix the bridge. Here it is, Mr. Baggins. I'll have to find something else to play with.
that. This shouldn't take long. Good, isn't he? Find me. I was thinking about Bull Roarer Took. You know all about Bull Roarer Took, don't you? Of course. He's my great, great, great. He was quite an adventurous hobbit. Won the Battle of the Greenfields, he did. Knocked the Goblin King's head clean off with a wooden club. Sailed through the air and went right down a rabbit hole. Well, that's where we got the game of golf. Mm-hmm. So I've heard. Ah, Bull Roarer Took. I wish you young people knew more of your histories.
Hello, Bilbo. We still need more supplies for our journey. If you happen to find any provisions, bring them back to me. Time you arrive, Mr. Baggins. Let the journey begin. He regretted leaving home almost immediately. In the dangerous lonelands, they found themselves cold, wet, and low on food. Suddenly, Balin noticed the light of a fire. Forin sent their new burglar, Bilbo, to investigate.